So I thought I'd show you how to uh, how to use the Lansky. Uh, this is a kitchen knife, chef's knife. It's just kind of what I was talking about, the uh, public use knife. It's not my, my good one. It's okay sharp. You can always tell by hitting your fingernail here and trying to slide this direction. If it catches, it's a pretty good indication that it's sharp. Um, I like the paper test. And this one, <laughs> not very sharp. Right? It, it has a couple of has a couple of things on the blade that are are making it snag, but we're gonna fix that. So the first thing that I do is I have a sharpie marker and some tape. And uh, what I do is I'm gonna grab some tape and I'm gonna wrap the back the spine of the knife in tape. This is actually thicker than what I usually use, but I can't find my roll of tape. This is just to protect the, the knife itself because we're going to clamp it into here, right? Um, you do need a Phillips screwdriver here. Um, I generally just kind of slide it in uh, so that I don't have to worry about it. And what I want to do is I want to get it positioned such in the, in the clamp that... Uh, I don't have a whole lot of this edge out here hanging out because the knife will bend. And as you're pushing on it, it can actually change the angle of the, of the blade. So, and then I have my clamp right here. And basically, you just set, set the knife on like this. You can turn it over. It's pretty easy. And then to set up the stones, Let's see, uh, I'm probably going to start off with this uh, medium stone, this green one. It's 280 grit. Uh, you can see here, it's got dirt in the, in, the, in the stone itself. That's what this honing oil is for. So you just take this and I'm going to put like, I don't know, six dots or so of oil on here. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to rub it in in circles and I'm going to loosen all of the metal filings out of it. You can see here that I'm hopefully you can see it on the camera but you can see that I've gotten a lot of it off. I just have some paper towels here wipe it off make sure it's good. What this does is it also uh, works some oil some honing oil down into the stone and that's a little bit better mostly what we're concerned about is we just want to make sure that we actually have an abrasive surface rather than it being all filled in with metal filings. So then I'm going to take this uh, guide rod out of my kit. I'm going to feed it through here and lay it on a flat surface. Make sure that it's straight. Tighten it up like this. On the Lansky there are, yeah here we go, on the back you can see that you've got a 30, 25, 20, and 17. Um, these are inclusive angles, right? Actually, this is not inclusive. This is, this is a single-sided angle, I forgot, on this one. So at 17 degrees, that means that I'm going to have a 34 degree inclusive angle. And that's typically what I run my knives. My, uh, that's, that's actually a little bit more than what I... Uh, use the, what I like to do, but it's as low as I can get on this one. So before I start sharpening, I'm going to take my Sharpie. I'm just going to color the cutting edge of this knife all the way up on both sides. That way, I know that I'm going to get that whole cutting surface. So essentially what we do is, uh, is I'm just going to take this, I'm going to slap it in here, and I'm just going to start working this, this edge. The trick to this one is I have to hold it sideways and put some pressure on here, and then I'm just going to take this in one stroke, and I'm just going to work it like this. You don't want to do this. You want to make sure that you're always moving in towards the blade. You want to be careful also 
that you don't uh, that you don't hook this edge because that'll destroy your your cutting edge in a hurry. It'll give you a little pock mark. And I'm just going to work this in short strokes. I'm not pushing much pressure on it. Uh, where I'm actually on this knife because I free handed it out on my belt sander last, um, I do have to work a little bit more. But I'm just going to work this until all of my black marker is gone. Um, you probably know this already, but the whole point of having a, a knife sharpener, or the whole point of sharpening rather, is you're actually creating a microscopic burr on the edge of this. And so when you sharpen both sides of the knife, of the blade, you're actually pushing that burr back and forth. Right now this burr that I'm creating is folded down like this. And when I do the other side, it'll fold it back over. And you you take um, increasingly fine increasingly finer stones until that burr is just microscopic. The edge here, the tip, is always really, really, really difficult to get. But it's just patience. Just snagged that. Do you see it? You gotta be careful not to do that. Also, be careful not to get your fingers in the knife. That hurts. I know. I've done a lot. All right. So let me show you what we've got so far. I don't know if you can see this or not. Hopefully, you can. But what I'm actually doing is I'm actually filing. Imagine uh, it, we're gonna zoom in on this blade just a little bit. If this is the surface I don't want to cut and this is the surface that I'm cutting, I've got half of it still covered in Sharpie because the angle is different than what I am. Uh, I, I sharpened it like this and now with the, with the Lansky kit I'm coming in at a much more shallow angle. And so I just need to work it back and forth and, uh, and we'll do that. So because it's so uh, so much of a different angle. Uh, like I said, I don't ever maintain these community knives with my uh, with the Lansky kit. I, I, I just don't. So, um, in any event, uh, I'm going to switch to a much coarser stone. This one says that it's 120 grit. And that's just to kind of reprofile this edge. If you're listening carefully, you can hear it, that it sounds different because I'm, I'm taking pieces off of it. And I'm pushing rather hard just to try and get it to, to shape. You can probably see the knife flexing. Be careful out here on the edge again because it does flex and that changes the angle at which you're grinding. That's looking better. Uh, you can see, I don't know if you just saw on my fingers there how much I just pulled off, but it was a lot. Let's check the edge of this uh, pretty quickly, get a new piece of paper. And see, I've pushed that burr now all the way over to the other side where it barely catches. If I were coordinated, I could probably cut this towards me, but it makes me nervous. Let's see if we can do it anyway. You can see there's a pretty good cutting edge on there, even though it's still pretty rough. Ah, whatever. Feels dull. Because I haven't done the other side. So I'm going to work the other side and I'll be back with you. So one thing I wanted to point out while I'm, while I'm working on this. It's my preference to move the stone the same direction and turn my knife underneath it. That just gives me a more consistent stroke. Out here on the edge, out here on the tip, I'm actually going to go from this motion to this motion. Just so that I can make sure that I sharpen that all the way to the tip. And then the rest of it, I'm going to move the blade so that my arm is just moving the same speed and with the same pressure. A little tip, I guess, a little trick. All right, something interesting I've noticed here. I don't know how well this is gonna show up, 
the blade is curved, except right here where it's been flattened because people cut, use the knife like this instead of like this. It's gonna take a lot of work. All right, so I've worked it down with the coarse stone to the point where all the Sharpie is gone. So I'm gonna take my medium stone again, and now I'm gonna work this the same way that I showed you to begin with. Not pushing very hard, just enough to get this knife working correctly. So I've worked that twice on that side. Let's work it again on this side. Caught the edge of that again. All right, that should give me enough of an edge. Now, yeah, that feels pretty solid. That it's starting to bite the nail. And in some places it's better than in others. But like, that's sharper probably than what you'd get out of, you know, store-bought knife. Unless you're buying a good knife, you know. It's probably about the edge that came on this thing to begin with. So now I'm going to move to my 600 grit. You can see, you can probably see the difference. It's much, much finer. Same thing here. We're just going to throw a couple drops of of oil on it. That's probably too much. Just work it in. Yeah, look at that changing color there. It means I'm getting all the filings out. That's good. And we'll attach a rod to it since I'm done with the with the coarse coarse er stone. I'll put that back in the kit. And we'll keep working. This one, you want to maintain really light pressure. This is just honing, right? This isn't shaping, this isn't cutting hardly at all. This is just trying to move that burr, like I said, to the other side of the blade. And if there are any imperfections left, They're little. I finished this. That feels pretty good. It's got a good bite. And it should do this pretty well. Look at that. It's just smooth. All the way to the edge, which is good. So another test I like is can I take the paper and will it cut? I'm not dragging it hard. It's pretty sharp. How sharp is pretty sharp? Well, don't need to shave my wrist for a minute.